Hi, welcome to my studio. So today I'm going to go over a process of making uh, 3D art with recycled materials. Um, it's a project I'm working with my students, my high schoolers and my middle schoolers. I think this is a great project for that age group. I think younger could do it also. Um, uh, we're using mostly cardboard, plastics, um, styrofoam, easy things to cut. Um, with maybe scissors, no knives involved, no glass. Um, and so what I did is I, I uh, instructed my students to um, go ahead and sketch out um, just the head of an animal. So um, my middle schoolers are studying Africa and my high schoolers are studying South America because it is world cultural. Uh, it's uh, world cultures is the theme this year for my art. So a lot of the art is surrounded by other cultures, other countries, and so the ideas are from there. Um, uh, so I'm just going to go through a step-by-step -step process, kind of make it quick. Um, this next little bit is just going to be me sketching out my idea, um, getting a, a 3D outlook of what I'm looking at for just the head of an animal. So uh, just bear with me here and you'll get to see the end result here eventually. Um, and so let's just get to the video. So one of the first steps that in order to create this animal or whatever, the first step that I do is I go online and I research the animal that I want to draw. And I found this little monkey on Shutterstock.com. So they have a lot of free images you can use. You want to make sure that you're using images that are from uh, are free to use from like uh, websites like Shutterstock and there's a whole bunch of them out there. Just don't, I, I mean, if you're just using it for teaching methods and stuff, but I really do not um, emphasize um, stealing images from people and using them uh, for your artwork. Now we're not using, we're not replicating them exactly. So, you know, probably isn't a big deal, but say you were to paint this or draw this exactly, this monkey or whatever, exactly the way it looks right here, um, you could be running into copyright issues. So what I'm gonna do is I, I put this uh, monkey on my document, I'm gonna print it out, and then I'm gonna do a quick little sketch, and then we'll start getting in the creative process. So for my um, recycled art, project my 3d art project for my students and this is really just a first time go for me of doing something like this I'm normally not a 3d um, art person per se I usually draw or paint on flat surfaces so creating something 3d is new for me also um, but um, so we're just I'm just kind of walking myself through this I've seen some of the artworks created and I think I can create it with my knowledge some way or another. Anyways, I picked this cute monkey here. I like his little expression. And I think with some of my re recycled uh, materials, I'll be able to create a really cute, um, fun, creative little project here. So I'm going to do right real quickly here. So I'm just going to create a quick sketch so that I can match up um, my 3D objects to the shapes that I'm creating here with my monkey. And I apologize for the shaking. Um, still working on um, my camera angles and stuff. So, um, really it's just getting his shape and I want him to be good size. So, um, he's even going to be a little bigger than this. So I think the first thing I really want to do is make sure that I get his face right. Like that whole, it might be even, uh, exaggerated a little bit. Like I'm probably going a little too big or I'm a little off here. So I'm gonna go a little further this way and bring his head in. So there's enough room for his big head. And he's got an ear that kind of hangs out there. Okay, so this is just a small amount of recycled things that I have. I have a whole big box at, at, at the school also that has all kinds of like um, recycled um, packing paper, 
um, that I could use to help make fuzzy fur and things like that. But these are some ideas that I have and things that I've collected. Recently got a TV, so there's a lot of styrofoam in there. So I thought, well, maybe I can kind of cut this out um, to fit, to mold. Who knows, right? And straws, you know, straws make good for like whiskers or, you know, um, there's probably all kinds of ways we can use some of these straws. Um, little plastic containers like this. I mean, I can imagine one of these being like the ears sticking off the, the side of the head. Um, and like I said, I'm going to be painting these with acrylic paint afterwards. Um, who knows, you know, could be an eyeball, but probably not. Um, you know, there's all kinds of ways that we can cut some of these things out, the little shapes or whatever, and add texture. Uh, bottle caps probably would make great eyeballs, marbles, golf balls, old recycled little balls. Um, milk jugs like this. So this milk jug, I was looking at it, and I just thought, just looking at this, um, the inset is like the eyes, and this could easily be the mouth of the monkey. Can you see that? So this was kind of my idea, and they're also going to mount on a piece of cardboard um, the materials so that we'll have like a base off of it. So I think I'm going to use this um, milk jug for the base of the face. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut, and I'm just going to do that right now. So that is the start of the head there, but I need, he's going to be bigger than, he's going to be bigger. Um, I'm going to cut this in a little bit too. I'm, I have my drawing right here next to me and my picture so I can kind of get an idea of the shape I want. So his eyes, his face kind of goes in and then comes out so we're gonna do that yeah I think that's better I'm still gonna leave this little bit so it will stick off the the cardboard a little bit and then I think I'm gonna take this out but we'll leave that back part there okay so there is my monkey kind of face there. Can you see it? Yay. Okay, so now I want to do his fuzzy head. And he's kind of looking like that. This cardboard may not work. I might need a bigger piece. Now I want to see, let's see. What I also did was I grabbed this and no it's not quite big enough let's see what else um let's see i don't know if i have very many materials i am gonna go ahead and cut i'm just gonna cut one of these off here they're like cookie little cookie containers and i'm just gonna use half of one half of them so that they kind of stick out like that and I think maybe I might use the styrofoam styrofoam is not that easy to cut with scissors though it's kind of better to do it with a utility knife So now I have my glue, my, I have a glue gun, like a real heavy duty glue gun. Um, of course, I've got some smaller little glue guns that I'm going to bring tomorrow for the kids to use. And of course, I will be supervising them the whole time. I'm going to go ahead and glue this styrofoam to the top of this um, monkey head here.
just yet. But I have these two little bottle caps that I think will be perfect for little eyeballs. Like that. And it might even be better if I do it like this. And then maybe find a marble or something on my son's and put it in there. And glue a marble in there. I think that might be cuter. I'm going to... Um, I don't know. I think I need to take that out a little more. Um, but I also want to do his mouth and I want it to look like it is open. So I'm going to cut the styrofoam cup that I got from some, um, that I got from some fast, some uh, leftover to go stuff. I'm just going to make it a little shallow because I actually want to create his tongue and everything like in his little mouth here. Putting down his fur. That can go bye bye. I don't think we'll be using that. And everything I don't use, I still can like you know other people can use that's the bonus with this is you know makes you have to think outside the box and you know it didn't cost it won't cost me much except for you know tape pen, have a pencil um that kind of stuff His hair actually stops kind of more like behind here. I can use a little more cutting off the edge here. Of course this is really rough. Rough. Kinda, and paint's gonna kind of seal all this rough stuff in. I think I see it straight. Try not to cut my finger off. little more stability there you go he's looking like a monkey those look cute that looks cute okay. cutting you want to cut away from your hands and away from your body this is so cute I'm actually really happy okay so I did grab um, some marbles and I thought well maybe I could do it inside here and put his eye like that but the marbles just too small um, for the rest of his face so I'm just gonna flip this and I'm just gonna paint his eyeballs like that so I'm just gonna glue these caps on here so I'm thing with the styrofoam is I can kind of mold it and cut it however I wish. Big old gob fell off and it hurt. and this stuff is hot. Just like I did with this head, I could cut it kind of carve it so got some of that packing paper and stuff I can kind of like with some Mod Podge and stuff kind of smooth out his face cool 
Okay, and then he's got these like nostrils and nose. So what are we gonna do for that? If I used those. Shape these or cut them more once they're they're glued. But just getting this and like that. And like I said, I can get paper mache and stuff like that. But I think that's pretty good for like a 3D monkey. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think this is a good 3D monkey? I think I want to add like another piece right there. Just to help his forehead. Because they have the protruding, like a protruding forehead. Let's put that there. And then this is still kind of off, but I don't know. What do you think? Do you think this looks like my monkey here? Like that. And then of course I'm going to add fur and things like that. And I'm going to go over some of this in class. Um, and I'll probably mount him. So there is my scary looking monkey. So here he is. I don't know if the glue is dried, but this is my 3D monkey idea so that he can kind of look 3D-ish from that angle. I'm going to put like fur or cardboard out here and kind of just fluff them out. Um, the sun's going away, so that's kind of nice. So this part can go. Bye-bye. But um, this is all I'm going to get done today. Uh, this took me like I think maybe 30 minutes. That's including videotaping or 40 minutes or so. So it shouldn't take too long to get this together. Of course, with a younger child or a teenager, it could take a little longer. I did use an X-Acto knife. Please have a parent supervision or parents cut it for you. That's a great tool to have. I just have a little utility knife like this, um, a good pair of scissors, and a hot glue gun. You don't have to use one like this you can use you know the little cheap craft ones um, you can use other glues but it's gonna take a lot longer um, to dry so um, if you have the time to let it sit and somehow you know put the pieces together and hold them I like the glue gun because it dries very quickly so, uh, super glue could probably work really good too and I have some stuff called uh, 6,000 glue they sell them at Hobby Lobby that would probably work okay too but still you'd be holding it for a good while until it dries so I guess not. I guess that's pretty, pretty accurate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, um, and in, you know, um, enjoy my wet hair, just kidding. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like and hit that subscribe button. I plan on doing more projects like this on my videos, on my channel to help my students cause they're homeschoolers. So they need help with homeschool projects, things like that. And um, I'm, I quit the art snacks box for a little bit, but I'm thinking about doing another subscription box, but different. Um, and just let me know if there's anything that you would like to try out. Like I said, this is my first time doing a project like this. And I think it turned out really cool um, with the milk jug. You could use laundry jugs. And I think I'll probably put like a piece of cardboard here just to connect his face, just to give it some stability. Um, but yeah. It was a pretty fun little little project. So anyways, you guys have a blessed day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.